So now the final steps in building the noise machine. I'm going to double click the background to come out and I'm going to connect the out to one and two so that we can hear sound. Now at the moment you won't be able to hear much. Let me just take the cutoff frequency and I'm going to manually modulate this. So a very classic noise sweep. We're going to add the envelope control by adding a mod amount control. And we need to do that by creating something called a multiply module. So I'm going to right click, built in module, go to math again, multiply. This is going to basically be connected to replace the existing connection from the A to E converter. I'm going to drag a wire here. And now right click on the socket, create control. Unlock the panel, let's move it over. I'm going to rename this mod amount. And we need to actually tamper with the parameters here to make it work how we want. I'm going to push F4, I'm going to select the mod amount and I'm going to set a range max of 100 and then a minimum of minus 100. And this is going to give us the strength control that I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. So that's the circuit done. I'm going to lock this. And if you have a look, let's take the attack reasonably slow. You can see that's pretty much the settings that were on here. And sustain level all the way down. Release we can ignore because we haven't got an amp envelope actually connected up. And it's going to go from the low frequency set on the cutoff here right up to the highest point on the graph if you want. That's what the mod amount is about where we set the high point and it's going to go back down again to the cutoff. So let's have a listen. There we go. If we don't want it to go so high, we'd reduce the mod amount. Have a listen. So it's not as bright. So this is the strength. So we've got our first snapshot there. I'm going to push F6. Let's take away the properties window and I'm going to add this. So we click append twice. You can see I've already been typing some stuff in already. So sweep up and down. Let's take the one away there and enter. There we go. Spot on. Let's do another one. Let's take the attack faster. There we go. We got a noise full. So we can click append twice. Let's rename that noise full and then we can save the ensemble let's double click to come back up file save ensemble and I suggest storing that inside your user library